Hello, hello, you beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. We talk all things life, love, spirituality, love, attraction, and all of that juicy goodness. In this video, we're going to talk about listening to our bodies. Our bodies are literally our beacons. We have to follow the little, it's almost like your body's sending you like a little telegram from your soul <laughs> and you have to interpret it. You know, you are hanging out with somebody and you're feeling restricted. You're feeling a tightness. You're feeling not free to be who you are. You feel like you have to tiptoe on every single word. That's a clear indicator that that person is not good for your energy. They are not they're not safe. They're, you're literally, your soul is saying, this isn't safe here. Because when you tense up, you're not allowing yourself to be yourself. And we want to attract people who allow us to be free. And part of life is playing this game. It's like we're all in this movie and we have all these characters that we have to kind of figure out who's who, who can we trust, who can't we trust, who's going to teach me a lesson. And the only way to move throughout life and being successful at this is by tuning in to what the body is telling you. What is it giving you a sore throat? Is it giving you tight elbows? Is it giving you struggles with your feet? There's a communication system. So here's an example. If you're struggling with your feet and your legs, that's your ability to walk through life. That's your, you might feel stuck in your life. If you, if you're feeling like an ailment in your ankles, or your knees, you're not able to move forward. Your body is stopping you saying, hey, something's off here. If it's your lower um, belly area, if it's your reproductive organs, if you're having UTIs or bladder infections, there's usually a lack of creativity. That's your space of also not feeling sexually creative and being able to express the sex kitten inside of you. You might be in a relationship where somebody is not good for you and you keep getting bladder infections, or you keep having a reoccurring illness in a certain area and your body's signaling saying, hey, intuition's on, this is not good, get yourself out of here. Um, a lot of times back issues, back and shoulders are you're carrying the weight of too much. You're taking on too much. You're causing more chaos in your life. And a lot of times that's usually marriage. Marriage issues usually reside in the back and in the shoulders. It's because you know you're not supposed to be there or you know they're not going to do the work to heal themselves and you're carrying everything yourself. You're doing everything around the house and you're not being appreciated. That's usually back and shoulders. And our body has this really cool communication system. It's an intelligence. And when things aren't right, it will signal, it will send you a telegram in a certain area. And then you go and look it up and figure it out. Or you come to my channel, you book a session with me in a reading, and we will uncover what's really going on. And I just had a woman, um, I did Reiki with her recently, and she's been having, she had reoccurring bronchitis and she had all this inflammation in her throat. And we discovered in her reading and in Reiki that, you know, the throat is the chimney to the heart, right? So if that is blocked, that smoke, that fiery, that love, that passion, that communication from your heart can't be heard, can't be seen, can't be felt because the chimney's blocked. You're not allowing it to speak, which means you're too much up here. You're too much in your head. You're trying to figure everything out from up here and not listening to your heart. So the body is signaling saying, hey, we're going to give you some throat issues. Maybe it's thyroid, maybe it's bronchitis, maybe it's strep throat, because you're not listening to your heart and your heart is trying to communicate to you. It's literally blowing all this smoke up here and now you're inflamed. So it's really cool when we learn the system, we can learn to, to tune in, to tap into what our body is telling us. This will also create momentum when moving forward in life and you're wanting your business to grow or you're wanting to call in more money um, or you're wanting to hire more people. Like how can you attract the right people to work for you? You have to make sure your system is clear and running and moving well. If you're unhealthy, that is your soul saying, you can't trust this person or this is not a right fit for this job. You know, I was just listening to a story about a restaurant owner 
he hired somebody to do his books for him and he just was feeling a little off. There was a little tinge of, uh, I don't know, this doesn't feel right, but he's a really nice person. So I'm going to hire him anyway. Two years later, he found out that this man was stealing from him. And right before he found out, he had a dream of this person literally walking into his house and taking a vase of flowers and walking out. Had nothing to do with money, right? It's just he was coming into his home and he was taking something. And this is how the restaurant owner knew that he could trust his body signaling two years ago saying this doesn't feel right. So he went in and he checked the books and he found out that this guy was stealing from him. So our body is really, really wonderful. Our soul is telling us what th when things are right and when things are wrong. And I still don't have it all figured out. And that's why I love learning about it. And that's why I love teaching about it because I'm getting better too. I'm learning that my biggest thing is when I'm around certain people, my heart will pound out of my chest. Literally, it could be a stranger I walk up to and start talking to, and my heart will just start pounding out of my chest. For me, now that I know, that is somebody who is very, very controlling, not soft to be around. On the, on the, the forefront, they might be looking very nice, but when my heart pounds like that, I know that they are not a good person behind closed doors. I know that they might be um, abusing animals. They might be a, like bad-mouthing other people. It is a huge indicator in my body because... I learned this. I learned that I later found out that people that made me feel that way when I first met them, they ended up being that way. They ended up having a narcissistic type of personality, like it's their way or the highway. And it, I felt very constricted around them. So now I know um, anytime I come into a, you know somebody else's presence and my heart is pounding like a tiger is chasing me, that's my indicator. This is not safe, Michelle. Do not spend time with this person. And please warn other people that they might not be great for whatever they're here for. And then other people I can be around and I can say whatever I feel. I can be cute. I can be silly. I can dance. I can play because I feel free around them. And they are people that are good. They are, my body is saying it is safe. You can be you. And I feel completely calm around those people. So remember, your body is going to direct you in life with all of these characters in your movie. You want to figure out who are the best ones to be around, who's going to help you grow, who's going to help elevate you. And even the ones that are not so great, they're still helping you grow because you're learning this. If I didn't have those experiences with those other women and men who made my heart race, not race in a good way. But at the time, I thought it was like butterflies. I thought it was like, oh, I'm really nervous around this person. They must be here for a good reason. No, it was danger. And my body was saying, this isn't right, Michelle. <laughs> this person is going to ride your energy and they're going to try to take all of your, um, your juice. Because a lot of times I, with my channel and with my Instagram, you know, sometimes I offer things and I share things and people follow and they listen and they they'll jump on board. So if it's me promoting somebody else's product or something, you know, some people try to like ride that energy and they're like, oh, let me ask Michelle. She'll send it out to her followers and they'll listen and then we can make a good, you know, buck off of that. So I have to be mindful about who I connect with in that way because they don't always honor me. They use my energy and they use my reach. So you do the same. Listen to your body. If you have an ailment somewhere, drop it in the comments and say, hey, I've been struggling with this. I will do my best to respond. Maybe other people can jump in and comment and share their wisdom. I am totally open to what you all, what your experiences have taught you when your body is signaling to you. It could be your ears ringing. It could be your nose itching when you're around certain environments. I know for me, when I'm in a gym setting or a house and I get blurred vision, that usually means this is, has nothing to do with a spiritual path, but it usually means there's mold in the building. I am a mold detector. I can detect it all the time. And it's because I lived in mold for a short period of time. And I could not, I literally bought glasses during that time because I thought I needed glasses. And I was like, oh, I'm getting older. You know, as soon as I moved out, I didn't need glasses. <laughs> I was literally in an environment where the air was not clean. So now when I walk into other environments and I have blurred vision, I'm like, oh, there's mold that's present here. So how cool is that? Our bodies literally respond and we have to tune in and listen and then do something to change it. You can't stay in the environment if it's not healthy for you. Okay. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, comment below, like, subscribe, hit the bell, but comment and let me know if you're having an ailment or, or maybe a past situation where your body was telling you, this is dangerous, don't do this, you don't feel safe here, and how it ended up working out for you. All right, lovies, have a wonderful day, and thank you so much for being here. All right, peace out.